Today I'm going over my latest Arduino application that I wrote. Uh, it's using a TFT screen, touch screen. Uh, this is an Uno R3 TFT, uh, 2.8 inch with a socket for SD card. What I've got here is basically two analog signals going to it. I've got this connected to my Arduino Mega. And as you can see, this is connected here to a little resistor, a photo resistor, so it's showing you the light. See there on that little green graph. And the center and yellow graph are basically audio, the same signal, it's an audio signal and it's showing you a line graph here, sort of the waveform and this is basically compiling the waveform so that they're all pointed up if that makes any sense and here's the little audio sensor from Adafruit got a couple resistors in there and I'm basically using a digital pin for power and I'll give you a little demonstration here so if you uh, press on the screen it'll pause and give you a menu where you can get uh, some data capture uh, raw settings so if you want to calibrate your screen you can you just keep pressing on the sides and it'll give you your uh, readings as you go and here's the uh, top graph you can set the color and the direction and now it's green let's change it to yellow change the direction and the center graph let's change that to white change that direction and the bottom one. We'll change that to red and leave the direction the same. There you go. You can see now that uh, it's a little bit different. Colors are different and uh, the direction's a little bit different. So now you get the two audio signals together you can kind of see a little bit better what's going on there. So I hope that uh, gives you a good demonstration and uh, I'll give you more details on it later. I'm going to go over the code. So basically what you've got here are uh, some touchscreen libraries. You can get these at Adafruit and I'll post links to those on my Instructable. Uh, right here you've just got uh, some settings you want to make sure are set depending on your particular screen. Uh, my screen requires uh, these settings here. As it does these, these are not necessarily the default from Adafruit. I had to change these to get it to work on my Uno R3. Uh, min and max pressure, these are your calibration settings. You want to play, pay close attention to those. That's going to really affect the accuracy of your button pressing. So you can get those readings uh, right here on the main menu screen. Uh, just by pressing around, it'll, it'll change the actual readings here, down here, that you can use to uh, set those calibration settings. So you want to going to want to pay attention to that. Let's just change the color for the heck of it. And then we got yellow, yellow, yellow. I'll change that to green. Red, actually. Alright. Back to the code. So we've got some colors to find here. Now you can go ahead and change those if you want. This is a power pin my 53 pin on the uh, Arduino Mega. I'm just turning that on because my audio sensor here requires uh, power. And uh, it basically it's getting 5 volts plus the resistor is uh, bringing it down a little bit. And we've got our two sensors. I got one on A14 and one on A15. Alright, so this is just a little message that gets displayed out and some other code. Your base value, this is for the center graph. This is just telling it uh, where zero is basically on 500. And this is just declaring your uh, TFT screen, touch screen. We've got a few counters here to help maintain state. In fact, most of these variables are help to maintain state and also to uh, draw out the buttons and detect if they've been pressed. It gives you the regions for everything. Some of these zero ones, these are being set dynamically just to make it easier to move them around uh, down in the code there. So you've got your different buttons, top, center, bottom, the data area, that's where the screen capture information is displayed. And your left and uh, right arrows, if you press on top, 
and then you get your color buttons. And top graph color, that's where it's basically holding uh, your different default colors, and these are your default directions right here. And we get into the setup routine here. This is just turning on my power, and we're setting up the screen. Uh, just going to uh, print out the, uh, the driver, just for a brief moment so you can see it. And uh, this is going to put a little a, a message on there, and then it goes into the loop routine. And here we're getting our analog sensors, sensor 1, sensor 2. And this is basically, sensor 2 is the audio. And this is being uh, massaged a little bit, it's being converted around just because uh, the raw data itself, they, the two signals wouldn't fit on the same screen <laughs> together if you tried. Uh, you have to kind of manipulate the data a little bit. Anyways, uh, that kind of, hopefully that explains that. Here you're getting your point and you're checking to see if there's a touch here in this little if statement. And we're getting our X and Y statements, which are basically uh, transpose coordinates from raw to a 320 by 240 type coordinates. And we get down here. This is to set the pause state off or on. So we're in pause state. When we press the screen and we click done, we're out of it. Uh, this is checking for a menu press. So after you click here is it saying oh yeah we've got a menu press we've got that now we've got this so that's where it's checking for your uh, menu press and we'll get down into that a little bit later uh, and this is just saying okay now we're in pause state we're in the menu state so uh, let's see what the options are so it shows you the options and depending on if that state changes it's going to show you some different options and this just brings up that data screen when you first enter it, which is right here. And you can also set uh, one of them to black if you want, which will essentially turn it off. See, now the center graph is no longer there. I'm going to turn it back on because I like it. <clears throat> this is just some debug information if you want to display some data on your serial port. And what else we got here? Uh, this is just sort of something that happens at the very end. It just resets the screen and the counter. Uh, now, there is no touch event. We're going to be doing these things. We're going to say, okay, are we in the pause state? Yes or no? And this is basically just saying uh, we're not in the pause state. So let's go ahead and draw our graphs. Let's draw these things out. So here we have uh, the top graph, graph going, and it uh, gives you the top direction or the other direction, same with this one, and uh, also your different colors. So this is for the center graph. These have uh, old values that are being stored in order to draw the line graph out correctly. And here's your bottom graph. And we get down to the loop counter. These are just things that are keeping track of state and where we are in the routine. And here's check menu press. So this is basically uh, checking to see if anything's been pressed. It's just going through all the regions and seeing what's been pressed. So if it has the top button, area been pressed, has the center, the bottom, the done button, has that been pressed? Uh, has the left arrow been pressed, the right arrow been pressed? And what state are we in to determine which uh, graph we're going to apply this to? And you keep on going, you've got your red button, green button, all these different buttons. So we're just trying to determine if uh, any one of these things has been set. And then we change the state and the color of uh, whichever button we need to change. Do, do, do. And keep on going down here. Got the center graph, so this is just doing the same thing for the center graph. Down here, we get down to the bottom graph, doing the same thing there. Uh, just checking to see if any of those buttons have been pressed. Then we get into this next routine, which is show me the menu options. Alright, so this is just basically going to print out the buttons and uh, apply the state, whatever state has been changed when a button's been pressed. <laughs> yeah. 
And we're going to continue on here. So these are just different menu states. We got the top button. All these different things are uh, being displayed and also setting different things like the current button areas is dynamically setting that so it can be changed. Bottom button area. And fill current color. This is basically just uh, depending on the state it's filling in uh, the red, yellow, and blue push buttons that are available. Just create a separate routine to do that so it's turning it green. Set direction buttons, same sort of thing. This is just telling you know, should we draw a square over this one or that one? And what uh, state are we in? Who are we going to apply this to? Which uh, graph? Yeah, set color options. This is just basically drawing these little buttons out. So these are all being called from the uh, routine that uh, displays the buttons. And uh, then show data here, which is last but not least, I think. Or there might be another one. Show data is just, uh, again, uh, printing out all this data here in that little box. And yeah, one more. Draw the done button. This is just a simple routine to draw this button out here. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope this is useful to you. I hope you can actually put this thing together. If you have any questions, give me a give me a shout in the comments. And uh, have fun, and uh, go ahead and start uh, graphing your analog signals. At least this ought to get you started. So. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll leave you at that, and just change these colors around one more time. And I'll let you guys check it out. Alright, thanks everybody.